Hi everyone, welcome to Pawpaw's Workshop. Today we're going to do a little preventive maintenance on the X-Carve. I've been running now for about close to 100 hours on this uh, router and it's time to check the brushes. I like to do that at the 100 hour point to kind of give me an idea of where the brushes stand so that I don't have a problem in the middle of the job. So let me show you how I check the brushes and do a little cleaning up of the inside of the router at the same time. Let's get started. Of course, the first thing that you want to do, make sure you unplug the power. But you do not want that to be on. As far as tools, the only thing I'm really going to need is the needle nose pliers, a little small hook to be able to catch the brass spring inside, and to be able to take the cover off, I'm using a T20 Torx screw driver to be able to remove the screws. You can use a flathead screwdriver as well, but this is really the ideal tool for this operation. To be able to remove the cap from the Dewalt router, I'm using a T20 um, Torx bit to be able to do that. And it just real quick, it's not hard to do, to just to be able to unscrew this to be able to gain access to this. Okay, once you've got all the screws loosened, all you have to do is just lift this cover off. There we go. We'll set that out of the way. Now what I want to do is be able to zoom in close to show you what's taking place here. And the first thing, the brushes are actually, there's one right in here. And then there's another one on the back side. And what I want to do is just inspect these brushes because they're about halfway through their life. So we're just going to undo this clip. There we go. And then there's a little spring right here that actually holds the brush in. And we're just going to use a little hook. Reach in there, grab it. And be able to pull that back. I'll put that right there. It's a good spot to be able to have it. And then I'm going to pull the brush out. And we'll take a look at it. So that's the actual brush. And I want to compare that to a new one. Alright guys, with what I want to be able to do is show the brush this is the one that just came out of the machine. And this is a brand new one that I want to be able to show you by comparison. So you can see that it's not quite halfway used up. Now this is with about 100 hours on the machine. So in about another 50, 60 hours, you can see about where the wear would be and it'll be time to replace it. So I know I replaced a the, uh, the brushes last time at about 150 hours and it looks like we're on track to be doing the same thing again for this set. So again this is the brand new one, this is the old one and you can see it's not quite halfway gone. So this is a good way to check and see where you stand with your brushes. Now this still has quite a bit of life in it, so I'm going to go ahead and put this back into the machine. To reinstall the brush, I'm just simply going to slide it in. Just slide it all the way in there. And then I'm going to take my hook and hook this little brass spring and be able to release it off of this clip and slip it back inside. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and plug this back in. And that completes it. 
Now I've got quite a bit of dust and debris in here. You can see in here there's still quite a bit of dust from all the uh, carving that I've done. So I'm going to take an air compressor and just blow this out and clean it up at the same time. That's really all that's needed. That's got it cleaned up quite nicely. What I want to do is take the camera though and move it around so that you can see the back side where the second set of brushes is. Not sure how well you're going to see that with the light, but the second set of brushes is right back in here. And that one's a little bit more of a challenge to get to, but it's still quite easy to be able to change. I do recommend keeping extra brushes on hand. I do have a nice supply of them because I don't ever want to be in the middle of a job and have the machine quit and uh, not have the brushes to be able to finish it. And on that note, the other thing, the reason I like to inspect this is because I don't want the machine to quit and break in the middle of a job. So by inspecting it periodically, then I know when the brushes are going to be time to change. So it helps me to eliminate any type of problems. Before putting the cover back on, I'm going to dust this off as well. There we go. Now we'll just put the cover back on and just slip it right down in there. Okay, and then we'll just tighten the screws back up. And I'll go ahead and I do like to do that from one side to the other side. I want to be able to keep as much even pressure as possible when I'm tightening this back up. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off camera. And that's really all there is to changing the brushes. And again, I like to check them periodically. Usually at 100 hours, I'll go through and check the brushes to see the status of them. Because I'm going to say this one more time. I do not like having this router break in the middle of a job. It just doesn't make sense to be able to run it that hard to be able to do that. So with a little bit of preventive maintenance, you can have pretty much a trouble-free machine. So there we go, the last little bit of the tightening. And you don't have to over-tighten this. It doesn't need to be really, really tight. And there you go. That machine now is going to last me, I know, because I checked these brushes, another 50, 60 hours before I have to change them. Now that everything is back plugged in, everything is together, I do want to go ahead and test this. One of the things that I do want to point out is I keep the, the setting on one for about 99% of all the carving that I do. There's really, in very, very rare situations, do you need to go higher than one. So let me go ahead and turn this on now. There we go. We're good for another 50, 60 hours. And we should be maintenance free on the router. With everything cleaned out, with the brushes checked, we're good to go. Hi everyone. Thank you for watching my video today. If you like the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it so you'll be notified on the different videos that I upload. Also check out the videos over here to be able to stay up to date on the happenings in my shop. So again, thank you for watching my videos.